When applying security to your organization's assets, the first thing you will need to know is the asset's value. When you take the time to identify and classify your data assets, it will ultimately make it easier to protect those assets. In this topic, you will learn how to classify your assets for protection. Asset Management An IT asset is any hardware, software, information slash data, physical system, or documentation that the company owns. IT Asset Management, IDM, is not a technology, but rather a set of business. Functions that support IT strategic decision-making and lifecycle management of IT assets. It combines financial, contractual, and inventory activities to provide broader management support for wisely investing in and using IT assets. The major part of IT asset management is managing the life cycle of hardware, systems, and software. From identifying the need, to procurement, to deployment, to maintenance, and finally, decommissioning and disposal, asset life cycle requires management and security at every stage. When designing and implementing secure asset management, be sure to address the following. Strike a reasonable balance between cost and need. Identify and distinguish between data ownership and data custodianship, especially with intellectual property. Clarify what data is private and implement controls to secure the privacy. Have the foresight when implementing asset security to protect the organization from possible future liability, especially if an individual has been injured in some way and is suing the company. Identify what data is sensitive to the organization and apply classifications to the data to make it easier to implement different control types. Be very clear about regulatory policy requirements and be sure to implement them in your asset management. In your policy, have a process in place to respond to legal requests for your data, including data discovery. Asset management roles. Managing assets requires personnel to take on various roles. The following table summarizes the key points of each role. Data owner. The data owner has direct knowledge and involvement in the creation and slash or acquisition of the data. They are usually involved in the usage of the data as well. They will need to understand the cost of the data, whether acquired or created internally, the quality of the data, and the risk and sensitivity associated with the data. Data custodian. The data custodian is tasked with protecting the data. This role is not the same as the data owner. The data custodian implements access requirements specified by the data owner. The data custodian is expected to apply controls, maintain, monitor, and quite likely in the end, destroy the data. The data custodian is usually a database administrator, system, administrator, or some other IT department role. Finally, a sample of the file is available on our free resources.